In medical and health sciences, the term pathogenicity and virulence are used to describe the disease causing potential of microorganisms, such as viruses, bacteria, fungi, etc. Now, sometimes these terms are used interchangeably and confused. So the purpose of this video is to clarify these two terms. Starting with pathogenicity, this term is referred to the ability of a microorganism to cause disease. Let's use the example down here of bacteria. So most bacteria in and on our bodies are harmless, therefore they are non-pathogenic. But occasionally we will, we will encounter some nasty bacteria. This will cause disease and these bacteria are known as pathogenic. So pathogenicity is a qualitative term meaning these bacteria or microorganisms either cause disease or they don't cause disease. Now, virulence, however, is a quantitative term which is used to describe only pathogenic microorganisms and to describe how nasty they can get. So down here, I've drawn a sliding scale to illustrate the severity of pathogens. So at this end of the scale, this bacteria is a little bit bad, so it's likely to cause some degree of disease. But as you move down the scale, the bacteria become more and more nasty, therefore likely to cause a more severe disease until we get to possibly causing death. Now, what increases the virulence of some microorganisms? Well, here are some virulent factors which do so, such as attachment or movement in the body. So these uh, allows the bacteria or the microorganism to attach easily and move through the body. Um, some have immunoevasive properties, so this would be like in capsules. They can put capsules around themselves to stop the immune system to eat them up or phagocytosing them. Some can produce immunosuppression, such as breaking down antibodies. Some can produce destructive enzymes, therefore they can break through connected tissue or break down red blood cells, etc. And some microorganisms can produce toxins, such as endotoxins, which we see that they can cause septic shock and some exotoxins which are destructive to nerves such as in tetanus.